Good day, everybody. We're here to talk about book five of the Wings of Fire. The oh, I can't ever think of the stupid <laughs> subtitle. The brightest night. The brightest night, and it stars Sunny, and we finally get her point of view. And it's basically the end of the Dragon Net prophecies, and how uh, and it covers pretty much Sunny in this one. Oh no, I didn't know that. Yeah, I said that twice. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, yeah, we just lost about half of the viewers. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, so I mean, anyways, okay, well, we can't really lose half the viewers unless we can cut someone in half. Yeah. So it takes, <laughs> it takes, uh, place right after book four. And no, it doesn't. It takes after book seven. Right after book four. Actually, during the events of book four, it takes place. No. Yeah, because she sees that Starflight is, comes out of the tunnel blind and it's helping fate speaker and then she gets kidnapped yeah but it's not that's true. right in the right at the end of book four right at the end of book book four he gets blasted before yeah and she sees whatever it. let's just keep going okay she sees that though so the book uh, well, i mean yeah i feel like the two did an excellent job uh, at the beginning uh the book goes more descriptive of the surroundings of the environment especially when they get to the underworld city uh what was that called again scorpion den scorpion den you get ready she gets she gets more descriptive of what's going on around people and uh, the environment and describes more of the settings i think she does a very good job of that but in the end at the end of the book to me she uh it gets kind of rushed like it's she only she only has like 300 pages or so to tell this story and because at the beginning and the middle she does such a good job of getting to detail on things at the end i feel like it gets a little rush she has to cram all the information in and she only has like a short amount of paper to do it or you know paper but not paper but uh limit. yeah limit. a limit page limit so she only gets so many pages to get to cram in the ending of the story that's how i feel about the book but it, the book is about sunny so of course it's going to be a little more light-hearted i guess it got more funny parts it's uh because it's from her point of view and you do get a different kind of sunny and her thoughts and how she's out to prove herself and how her, she feels about her friends. Uh, she but, loves her friends and stuff. But they're annoying. <laughs> but they're annoying, right? And it's like, uh, why won't you listen to me? Right. And so I think <clears throat> I think Tui did an excellent job getting her going off on her own, so that she could grow more as a character, and then earn, and it helps her earn respect of her friends. Uh, what's your feelings on the book? Uh good book. A good book. Yeah, good book. So do you agree? Do you agree that it's more descriptive and yeah, there's a lot more description. In there. Uh, all about the ending of the book. You like how? Do you think it felt rushed, or you think she did a great? I was just like, I was just like, I was just gone with it. I'm just like, and I was like, Ooh, okay, 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 all right. <laughs> I just felt like she had to cram a lot of it. I feel like she had to cram a lot of information. I don't in pay a few pages. To these things. I just read. <laughs> You just read and enjoy. I just read and enjoy. I'm I not like it. I enjoyed it too, but I just feel like I it... can tell you enjoy the when you when you okay. I know uh, when this person right here enjoys books when he stays up all uh, night reading them. I just don't sleep very well when I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I'm just like I'm just sleeping in my room, and you're just like, ah, time to get the next book, <laughs> and I'm just like, okay. But anyways, <laughs> okay. So what do you do? You recommend? Not recommend? Recommend with caution. Recommend. Recommend. Highly recommend. Yeah, it's a good book. It's a good book. Yep. I recommend as well for for you adult readers who like these kind of books. I would recommend it as well. If you find them in a weird age group, don't get disclaimed. It's like <laughs> they, they can get pretty violent. So you yeah, but so you highly recommend for your age group too, right? Yeah. Yeah. My age. I'm a teenager. I'm fine with it. All right. So very good, um, right? So I think this would be. I mean, sure, you need your the previous books to set up what is well, going duh. on, but I mean, it's a good solo book too. I, I mean, think. Like, yeah. I mean, like book four may not be the best one, but you still need it to read book five, or else you're gonna be lost. Yes. 
So, I mean, at least the last 50 pages of book four. <laughs> well, I mean, it also has a bunch of information from here to there. Yeah. I mean, you got to put it together. But this one, I like book four. This is Starts easy. Like just boring. This one is easier <laughs> to get through. There's a lot more action, more... Not action, but there's better parts and... More interesting events. Well, I mean, Starflight's just boring. Yeah, I mean, inter- even his friends think he's boring. Yeah. Well, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was more, I guess, more interesting events. All right, so. Um, and he gets shot down. He's like, I love you. And so he's like, ha ha ha. No. All right, so yeah, we're, now we're going to be hitting this. So now we're going to go to so, some spoilers. That's I mean, our, re- that that's even, our it's review. That's our review. in this book. That's, yes, it is. So this is our review. Is she? So now we're going to go to spoilers. She turns him and down in the fourth book. We're going to talk more about the fifth book and no she does not turn him down in the fourth book yeah no she says i don't know what my feelings are at this time and so for pretty much the fifth book she's trying to figure out when she thinks thinks of starflight she's a little late about what she's feeling for starflight yeah she's always trying to figure something out about that but then it's just like yeah and then fate speaker's in there and she's just like "Mm." Yeah, she and does get jealous. Of, she gets she's jealous, jealous of Fate and then she's just and then she starts beating herself up about it because she's like, "Why am I getting jealous?" Right. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because she. Yeah. Because she tells Sunny uh, Starflight that she likes him, but as, loves him, but as a brother. Yeah. But she does have some feelings because when Fate Speaker is with Starflight. Get a little. She, she gets just, a little. She just get jealous. She's just like. Mm. She kind of feels like when. Uh, when in it's just fourth- like it's like okay it's kind of like one of those things where it's just like you know how like when you're like completely oblivious right and you're just like only zoomed in on the one little focus in front of you and then you walk by and you don't see anything but in front of you and then someone else someone points it out and you're just like oh i know that yeah. and it makes you feel a certain way that's basically how yeah. it was yep and it's kind of like in the fourth book when starflight would see her and uh clay get along or do something like she would go to Clay. She's, when she's she always, yeah, he's always bad. yeah, he's always like, and, I wish I could be like that. Yeah, she, yeah. He's so like, why can't I be like that? Why too? can't she do that kind of stuff? Why can't mm-hmm. she trust me to do protect things. her and stuff? Yeah, to it is yeah. yeah, convey her message. It's just yeah. actually, I don't really know why. I guess it's just, mm-hmm. I guess Clay just has that aura that's just like, hey, you can tell me anything. Right. I mean, like, because all of them to go to Clay for I stuff. Mean, like okay, but her his girlfriend is like a maniac. Yeah, but all of them go to Clay. <laughs> if they need to talk to somebody, they all go to Clay. <laughs> Clay's like. just like I'm. Re- He's like the psychiatrist. <laughs> He's yeah. the psychiatrist. He's the one that's. I mean, like that's basically. He is kind of like a psychiatrist. He's though. the one that he smooths helped, things over. Yeah, but he helped Peril out though. Yeah. So. Yes, he did. All right, but we're talking about Sunny right now. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> so and then Sunny right. has other girls as. She meets her family, oh. and probably all, all the parents. She probably has the but, best parent because her mom, at least, has actually been trying to find her for the last twenty years. Yeah, and we find out that she was tricked a little bit. I can't remember why she put her egg out in the middle of the hiding it. Is it? Oh, hiding it. Right, and then somebody and knew she about trusted, it. She trusted only um, some of her close friends with it. Right. With the information of where the egg was, just in case, so just so they can go and check on it when they need to. Right. But Dune's just like, nope. Yeah. So Dune was yeah, because she trusted Dune, and he was the one who stole the egg. Yeah, because yep. he was in the town of the peace. Right. Um, so it's yeah. So Sunny goes on his adventure. She meets her mom, who happens to be a. So- Thorn. She is happens. the leader of the Outclaws, which is basically the police and the Scorpion Men. It's like but, it's the police, but they're but they're outside be, the law. But they're supposed to be criminals, and everybody everybody yeah. who's new to the Scorpion Den is afraid of them. And then it's just like yeah, and then they're always and they like come up with all these things, and they just drive Thorn nuts. It's just like I'm trying to help. It's like she's just yeah. like she just puts food in front of someone, and they're just like. And they're just, like, really confused. And she's just like, just eat! Yeah, they're like, is this poisonous? <laughs> it's just like... And then we meet, during this time, we meet another dragon named Kimberly, who plays a bigger part. I'm very, the... actually, I very scarcely remember me. Oh, no, I do now. Yeah, he was the guy who was talking to. Yeah, he's always... He, like, sticks right to Thorn the whole time. Oh and my so we we learn more about him, about him in books 6 to 10. And then uh, we get to see... Do Sunny Burns, 
Queen Burns or Princess Burns. Well, I mean, psychotic not only, nature. Not, not only that though. It's just like, oh, we're not on her dad yet. So, um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. I got this. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, I forgot who it was that kidnapped her. Again, uh, it was wasn't it the night the night wings? No. Oh, it was the dragon that she met in the, the street. Friday. She was kidnapped and then she got away. But then the yeah. next time she got kidnapped. It was that dragon someone. she met in the street before she met her mom. Yeah, the one that she thought was really creepy. Yeah, and he was his family. Mm-hmm. He was yeah. a soldier who got exiled. Yeah. So he was trying to get back. And he to wanted to get back to burn. his family. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And that's good. So then we meet Queen Scarlet. We find out that she's still alive. And she's in um, Burns. Weird, weird Weirdling? Weirdling Tower. Which it has a bunch of... Uh, Stuffed dragons. Which were a real dragon. That have deformity. That have deformities. Yeah, they were you real... have to be deformed in some weird way. Yeah, anything that's deformed is in there. Yep, so of course Scarlet's there. And she still thinks like she's free or something. She's just like trying or to she... order the... Trying to order Smolder around. Which yeah. Is, which is Burns' brother. Right. He's just like... He's just like... Yep. No! Yeah, but then we meet Smolder. And we see that Sunny likes scavengers. Because we meet a scavenger named Glo- uh, Flower, mm-hmm. and Flower and Smolder has an interesting relationship. Yeah. What do you say? Mm-hmm. That's it. You're not gonna go into more. You're just gonna agree. I mean, go into any she, detail. She likes <laughs> him, and he likes her. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, it's it's funny, but like, it's harmonious. 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 Yeah, harmonious. There you go. Jeez. Yep. Okay. So yeah, but basically he. She even when she's given the opportunity in one of the other books, um, Dragon Slayer, when she's given the opportunity to go home, she's like, "I like my dragon. I'm staying." And then yeah, yep. oh, you ruined you just ruined Dragon Slayer for everybody. I did, didn't I? I don't know. Did you? <laughs> I haven't read it yet. Okay, so yep. So she escapes from that palace, and she finds her dad, and her dad is a Eeyore for you winning the pool. Winnie the Pooh fans, her dad is basically Eeyore. Stop. How are you? He is just such I'm a... I'm just stuck underneath this mountain. No. My <laughs> turn. I'm a I'm magical... I'm slap you. I'm, I'm a magical you. dragon, so I'll change my scales to uh, stone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> I can't remember his name. Stone Boover. Yeah, and he's turned into stone. Hello. He ripped uh, he ripped holes through reality and yep. rock, so now he hit, there's portals. Yep. Oh, I guess we should mention that Sunny gets rescued by her mom, and her mom finds out that Stone Mover actually still loves her. Yeah. I was supposed to meet her somewhere. Well, wants to, but it's just like, he's just like, I can't do anything. Yeah. He, she gets really mad at him for not writing more than one letter, and it's just like, and then you find out why, and it's just yeah. like, well, hard to write a letter with your teeth. Yeah, he can't move. He can't. Do, there's nothing yeah. there for him to write with. Right. So while uh, he's like all grumpy, you got Sunny who's he's not grumpy. cheerful. He's depressed. Yeah, he's depressed. He's not he's grumpy. He's not. He's not grumpy. He just, probably wasn't like that before he got put into stone. He's just sad. Yeah. Nobody. He's all alone. Nobody will visit him. Um. But, but, so then at the end, we find out that uh, he the has, hero of the he has story a friend named Dinner. The, Hero, yes, it's a fox. The hero of the story doesn't eat it though. The fox just gives him food. The hero of the story is Flower. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it so, kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, and we'll continue with that on our next video. We hope you enjoy this. If so, what should they do? Watch the next video, like and subscribe because we're lonely. <laughs> We're not that lonely, but we have one like viewer. Our, if you like our uh, videos, please subscribe. Uh, we try to come out with at least one a day, and we'll talk to you, uh, or hopefully, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh, bye bye. Ah, bye bye.